Well, I sold off one of my cameras. Yeah, one of my extra cameras. No, not my D500, nor my X-T2. I sold this lens off shortly before my wife died and to pay some bills. I still have half a million dollars in medical debt. However, I'm not responsible for most of that. But I got it back. This is uh, the first version AFS with a true ring ultrasonic 11 elements, 300 millimeter 2.8D, pure bow, bow, oh yeah, bow, bow. Um, <laughs> realistically, however, um, true ring ultrasonic, extremely fast autofocus. I miss this beast. And so I finally got it back. I found a copy in absolutely exquisite shape, exquisite shape, which is actually pretty hard because these are hard workhorse lenses. Even the new um, 300mm 2.8s, which are upwards of what, now $5,600, they have VR. You don't need VR for sports action. You certainly don't need it for portraiture. And uh, Anyway, this is actually the best value. 300 millimeter 2.8 to get autofocus of all of them. There's no difference between this and uh, the uh, AFS version too, except it focuses a little closer and it's a lot more lightweight. This sucker is as heavy as lead. This is actually the heaviest 300 millimeter 2.8 Nikon ever made at uh, six and a half pounds, basically. Um, true ring ultrasonic, the auto focused on it, it's insanely fast. The newer ones really are not noticeably faster unless you compare them side by side. If you go between one camera and the next, you'll actually will not notice any difference. So it doesn't have VR and it does not need VR either. Um, yeah, here's the, uh, by the way, there's the case and the, uh, the, uh, front hood for it. It's not a lens cap for this beast. There's that huge hood, and that's the case for it. So I got it back, the one that I sold off about seven years ago, this baby. And uh, so I used a Christmas present, Christmas um, gift that I got, and sold off uh, one of my extra copy Nikons, and I got my baby back. I've actually been wanting this lens back now for quite a while. and. Here it is. Bow, bow. <laughs> Bye.